Hi, my name is Hugo, and I'm a customer support agent here at Brother. In this session, I'm going to show you how to scan using your Windows PC. To start, you'll need to place the document you want to scan in the feeder or on the flatbed portion directly on the large glass of your multifunction center. Once that's done, on the computer, click the Start button and look for All Programs or Programs, depending on the version of Windows you use. In there, you'll be looking for the Brother folder. Click on it and look for your current Brother model. Today I'll be using the MFC 7840W to show you the scan. In your Models folder, you'll be looking for a program called Control Center. Now, depending on the model of your MFC, you'll be looking either at Control Center 2, Control Center 3, or Control Center 4. Let's open the Control Center. If you're using Control Center 4, the first time you open it, you'll be prompted with a window that asks you to choose the mode. Select Advanced Mode and click OK. You'll be looking at a window that looks a lot like this one. Make sure you click on the Scan tab at the upper left corner. And here are your four scanning options. So the first option is Image. Image will scan your picture and will open it in Microsoft Paint. You'll have to manually save it from there. OCR will scan your, your text document as a file and can be modified on the computer. So instead of scanning an image, it'll convert this image into an editable text. You can then edit it in Word or uh, WordPad. The email option will scan your document, open your default email program like Outlook or uh, Windows Live Mail, and then attach the scan document. From there, you can enter the recipient's email address, subject, and perhaps a short greeting, and then you can send it out just as you would with the uh, regular email, only this time you've got your scan as an attachment. The file button is the one I'm going to use to show you uh, the scan today. The file button will scan the document and save it to a predetermined uh, folder on your computer. So let's go ahead and do the file scan. So just left click on the option. And here is my file. So I can double click on it to view it. So this is the file I've just scanned. And it's now a PDF document on my computer. I can now move this file around, rename it, send it by email. It's, it's going to be treated just as a regular file would be on your computer. Uh, one of the powerful features of Control Center is that each button can be configured to your needs. Uh, so for example, if I want to change the way a setting is being handled when I use the File option, all you need to do is right click and then choose Control Center Configuration. Uh, if you're using Control Center 4, you'll, be, uh, you'll, you'll want to click on Button Settings instead. So click on that. And in here, you see all the options that can be changed for the way the uh, scanning works. So I can choose to scan in black and white. I can lower the resolution, change the file type. Once all these settings are to your liking, just click OK. So next time you scan using this option, it will use those settings again. And there you go, you have it. We've just scanned a document using your Windows PC. Thanks for watching, and keep checking our site for more instructional videos on how to get the most from your brother all-in-one.